welcome to class 7 mathematics classes we are in chapter data handling exercise 24a question number 9 a dice was thrown 30 times and the following outcomes were noted 1 3 3 2 5 4 4 6 1 2 2 3 4 6 2 3 3 4 1 2 3 3 4 5 6 3 2 1 3 4 so 30 outcomes were noted here ranging from 1 to 6 in a dice there are 6 faces isn't it so 6 numbers are there 1 to 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we have to represent the above data in the form of frequency distribution so we'll do it now we'll make a table of frequency distribution The headings okay outcomes tally mark and number of number of outcomes okay so let us make a table here so outcomes are one two three four five six okay so now this outcome should be there one how many ones are there okay that we have to count from the outcomes one before doing this we can arrange also in ascending order so without arranging we are doing here one two three and four okay so four tally mark one two three four here outcome number of outcome will be four okay let us write this outcomes here so this will be four two how many twos are there in the outcomes count it one two three four five six okay so one two three four five six six here then after three one two three four five six seven eight once again one two three four five six seven eight nine are there okay one two three four five six seven eight nine okay nine here now four one two three four five six so six will be there not here here will be tally mark one two three four five six and five how many five are there one and then two two fives are there okay one two two five six how many six are there one two three so three six one two three here will be six now total will be 30 okay total we'll sum this all we'll get 30 because it is thrown 30 times isn't it 10 number find the mean weight of 50 boys from the following data so we have to find the mean weight of the following boys okay 50 boys are there from the following data so here weight is one head heading okay frequency is another heading weight is the variable so it will be represented by x frequency is represented by fi isn't it so let us make it so here solution weight will be here in kg okay then frequency that is weight is xi frequency is fi and here we will find the product of xi and fi that is variable and the frequency 
that is f i f i into x i okay f i into x i so let us make a table here so variables are 50 we'll put here 50 52 weight in kg okay 54 56 60 okay frequency of number of boys that is frequency means number of boys having 50 as his or as his weight okay so here so 50 is for 6 frequency is 6 okay so 6 boys are having 50 kg of weight now 52 8 boys are having 52 weight similarly 15 boys are having 54 kg 14 boys are having 56 kg of weight and 7 boys are having 60 kgs of weight from this data we are writing 6 8 6 8 15 14 15 14 and 7 okay now here we will find the product of these two 50 into 6 how much we will write here 52 into 8 how much we will get we will write here so 50 into 6 we will get 300 52 into 8 we will get 416 and here 54 into 15 okay we will get here 810 and 56 into 14 we will get 784 60 into 7 we will get 420 okay next is to find the sum of this isn't it that is summation f i summation f i means to add this all so we will get here 50 isn't it 50 we will get here and the summation of f i x i that also we have to find the summation of this that is the sum of this will be 2730 okay now the formula to calculate the mean that we know is mean is equals to summation fi xi divided by summation fi this will give us the mean so the value of this is given here okay 2730 and the value of this is here so just to divide it while dividing we will get here 54.6 kg as the mean mean weight of the boys okay question number 11 the heights in centimeter of 90 plants in a garden are given below okay height in centimeter given here number of plants here okay height is the variable and number of plants is the frequency okay so we have to find the mean height okay we have to find the mean height so solution will be here will be height in centimeter and that is xi okay and here number of plants and this one is fi so here xi fi will find okay so let us make the table so height here is 58 60 62 64 66 and 74 the frequency is 20 okay 20 plants are there of 58 centimeter okay 25 plants are of 60 centimeter similarly 15 plants are of 62 centimeter and 8 plants are of 64 centimeter 12 plants of 66 centimeter and 10 plants of 74 centimeter now we have to find xi fi xi fi we'll find here so when we multiply these two we'll get 1160 here here 1500 here 930 here for this one this is here we'll get 512 okay and here we will get 792 and here we will get 740 
now we will find the sum of this that is summation fi and summation xi fi here okay so here we will find here summation fi which is equals to 90 okay and here summation xi or fi okay fi xi or xi fi so here it will be equal to 5634 now the mean is given by the formula mean is equals to summation xi fi divided by summation fi so just put the values this part is 5634 and this is 90 so while dividing we will get the mean height of the plant okay that is 62.6 centimeter question number 12 find the mean height of 65 boys from the following data so this is also similar question height that is the variable number of boys that is the frequency so we'll write here we'll write here height okay in centimeter this one is xi number of boys this one is fi here we have to find xi fi okay so let us make the table so heights are given as 142 144 like this so here we will write 142 144 146 148 150 152 the frequency of heights of 142 is 10 okay so 10 boys are of 142 centimeter height okay like that 13 are of 144 12 are of 146 centimeter 7 are of 148 centimeter and 17 are of 50 150 centimeter and 6 are of 152 centimeter height okay now next is to find the product of these two so here we'll get 1420 here we'll get 1872 here we will get 1752 okay here we will get 1000 36 okay this for this this for this this for this and this for this okay and 115 to 17 we will get 2550 and this one will get as 912 okay next is to find the sum of fi and sum of xi fi okay so here sum of fi is equals to 65 and sum of fi xi will be equal to 9542 okay so we know the formula of mean with that help we'll do it here now we'll find the mean mean is given by summation fi xi by summation fi okay so the values we have calculated here 9542 by 65 okay so this will be equal to 146.8 centimeter okay question number 13 if the mean of the following frequency distribution is 15 so mean is already given of this frequency distribution find the value of p so one unknown is there p we have to find the value of this p so this can be done with the help of the mean formula okay so first we'll arrange things in a tabular form okay so solution this one is a variable this one is a frequency 
so variable is xi frequency is fi here we have to find xi fi so let us give a tabular form the variable here will be 10 10 12 14 16 and 18 okay frequency is 13 here p okay then 15 then 32 then 28 now xi xi fi will be here 130 here will be 12 into p is 12 p okay so here 210 for this two product is 512 and for this two it is 504 okay now we'll find the summation fi and summation xi fi okay summation fi that means we'll add this all constant will add and this is a variable okay so we don't have the value so we'll add 28 plus 32 plus 15 plus 13 how much we'll get we'll get 88 plus this p okay this is the summation fi similarly this side summation fi xi okay here also p is there so we'll add the constant that is 130 plus 210 plus 512 plus 504 we'll add this we'll get 1356 plus this 12p okay now we'll take the help of formula okay that is mean mean is equals to summation fi xi by summation fi okay so summation fi xi is given as this much plus 12p and this one as 88 plus p we have to find this p okay and the mean is given in the quotient mean is given in the quotient as 15 okay here it is mean is given if the mean of the following is 15 so mean is given only so this side 15 and this side this one okay now we'll simply find the value of p okay so 15 into this will be multiplied with this 88 okay so let us put it in bracket at first this whole will come this side and here will be 1356 plus 12p now we'll multiply inside the bracket 15 into 88 is your 15 into 88 we have to calculate here will be 13 20 plus 15 p 1356 plus 12p so 15 so here 15p minus this 12p will be equal to 1356 minus 1320 okay so here will be 15 minus 12 is 3p and here this one is 36 so p will be equal to 36 by 3 which is equals to 12 okay thank you very much